Hey guys. <laughs> yes, it's a good <laughs> Got my hair done. Cute. It is late. Y'all already know what I be using. Magic collection. Oh. I decided to do something like a natural look kind of keep it on the soft side my skin has improved a lot I mean a lot a lot like she was acting a fool and now she's nice and smooth she just got those little bumps still here well not bumps but like the black what am I trying to say <laughs> the black marks still are here but she's nice and I'm ready to go so, um i've been watching a lot of tutorials lately and i've been seeing so much good stuff about the elf poreless putty primer and i was just like i may have to check that out <laughs> so i wind up buying it i was gonna buy it online but i ended up going into walgreens and purchasing it along with the uh black radiance you guys know that this is like an og of mine i love black radiance like that was like the first products i've product brand i've ever started with with foundation um powders all that was like black radiance was my go-to i ended up buying their um this is the fine line waterproof eyeliner um, this is how it looks i got this i think it was like three dollars four dollars let me look at the receipt <laughs> i gotta get these receipts um it was four dollars and 59 cents so um, there's that and then I ended up buying the um, Milani Make It Last Setting Spray right here. This too is one of my OGs. Like when I first started doing makeup, the first uh, setting spray I think was the NYX. I still use NYX uh, Fini Matte to this day. I, it never stops. And then I ended up getting, you know, I felt like a little bougie. So I upgraded to the Milani Make It Last. And honey, did she last, okay? We just gonna get into this beat. I hope you're ready to get this beat done am i trying to say that i hope you're ready to make a beat <laughs> i'm lame oh my god let's go so this primer what is she giving i'm just trying to figure this out see the sizing of this oh this is a pretty decent size like not bad elf not bad and it's pink yeah i know i'm a smeller don't smell like nothing at all it gives it's like a pink undertone to it oh she is creamy and i'm not a digger i hate when somebody asks for some of your vaseline and grum school and they used to dig oh it used to do something to my soul like crumble it up throw it in the garbage like oh my god so like i wipe i'm i'm a swiper like i do that or like i stay in one area and just like work my way down until i get oh she is creamy honey barely even touched that and she is creamy yeah i like to stay in one area sometimes and then work my way around i'm not sure how you do it sis but this is how i'm gonna do it hmm okay she smells like primer i thought it didn't have no scent but she knows i'm really risky today with this white turtleneck honestly i don't even know why i have this turtleneck on it's like eight degrees outside even though i'm not going outside um honestly i don't even know why i have this on i didn't feel like going upstairs to get me another shirt and plus i've already taken my clothes out the dryer so <laughs> this is all i had as far as like my pores being covered um, i mean i don't really have like large pores they're there they're there <laughs> as far as like these little like bumps or whatever 
they definitely is getting it. See, look how this side is like way more clear than this side, even though this side isn't bad. Like it's flat, but it's, we know I'm talking about my skin. My skin, she is very sensitive right now. So anything I say to her, it's gonna affect her. So we're not even gonna do that to her today. But even though I got concealer up here, I still need to protect my forehead, even though I ain't get much of it. <laughs> she still need protecting. Honestly, I'm liking this. It feel really thick. Like, I'm surprised. I'm kind of shocked, honestly. So, I'm going to pair it with the Milani um, foundation. This is 2-in-1 concealer in the shade Chestnut. And I'm trying to see how I'm going to do this with my turtleneck on. I'm about to go change my shirt. I just can't risk this. Like, I don't even know why I have this turtleneck on. Really, I just wanted to focus on the face, but I'm thinking too much. So, I'm just going to go ahead and change my shirt. <laughs> shirts i'm ready okay so i know i mentioned that i was going to be using the milani uh, foundation but i'm honestly going to be using the clever girl matte ambition co collection and i'm going to be mixing two shades this is deep neutral this is deep golden too so i mixed it already and i'm just going to go ahead and do my foundation so usually i would not mix foundation I, i'm not a really um, I don't like mixing on myself. I just like to use one shade, but I actually filmed this twice. So the first time when I filmed it, I noticed like, okay, um, the foundation, the Milani foundation wasn't my shade. Um, I guess that's like my winter shade. So I went back and, um, did this one because I noticed that my skin seemed a little bit darker. And whenever I did this, like, last time, oh, my God, it gave me, like, the perfect um, balance from medium to, like, full coverage. So, I didn't have too much of a cake or not less of, like, no uh, makeup. It was just, like, the perfect amount. So, you see, it's, like, perfect. They say it's full coverage, but, honestly, it gives you the very lightest um, blend ever. And without it feeling... Cause I use these, I use this on my, my clients. So I don't particularly use this foundation, which is crazy. Um, I'm not that over. Um, I don't particularly use this foundation, but honestly, I, I forgot how good it was. Put a little bit more and then we're good to go. So far as the primer is concerned, it's definitely giving me a more glowy look because I believe this is the more universal one, a more sheer, they call it sheer universal. So it's definitely giving me that sheer look without it looking too dewy, but definitely making my foundation feel a little bit more lightweight than what it will usually feel. So I like that. That's A1 for me. The ultimate test is when the concealer comes on um then we'll know like okay but for the foundation and how the primer is really making me feel like i don't have anything on i like that so usually i would do my juvia's place but i'm trying to keep it on the really really like soft side and make everything look natural um which the juvia's place i guess that concealer is just a little bit too light and honestly i've been having like a little love hate thing with the um concealer like i love it when i do my uh, eyeshadow but when it comes to concealing my eyes not so much um it's a little too lightweight like when i'm doing like this type of concealer it comes on and i'm able to blend it out and it's able to stick where i need it to be versus the juvia's place whenever i'm doing um my foundation um and i'm concealer underneath my eyes i can see spaces there and i honestly don't like that and 
And yes, I do blend it out right away, as you guys can see. I don't waste no time with letting it dry down. Sometimes, sometimes with this concealer, I can let it dry down and blend it out and then give it, give it that more full coverage look underneath my eyes. But with that, oh no, you can't do that. Um, letting it dry down and then trying to go back in. It's not gonna, to me, it's just not gonna look right. I'm not sure what it is that I'm doing wrong, but honestly, I'm doing the same thing I would do with any other concealer um, that I would blend out. But that particular, um, I don't know, not so much, I don't know. But when it comes to me doing my eyeshadow, oh honey, I love it, I love it. It definitely blends, um, gives me a nice good blend. Um, when I'm doing my, you know, eyeshadow. So some products you just can't use for everything. But I know a lot of people who love the Juvia's Place, so I'm not even discrediting it. I'm just definitely letting you guys know that. It's just not my preference for underneath the eye. I like a more thick um, concealer when it comes to blending out concealers. So we nice and blended and we're... <laughs> now we're gonna set my face, I mean set my under eye using this is the J Cat porcelain powder. And I'm running out, but I have another one. <laughs> I just want to make sure I use all of this before I go over to this. And then I didn't want to mix this one with the new one because why would you do that? Why would you mix the old powder with the new powder? You gotta make sure this one is gone first before you use the other one. <laughs> so, um, and this has a pink undertone to it. I don't know if I ever mentioned that while I'm doing my foundation that this has like a pink undertone to it, and I love it. Um, I just love how it looks when I'm blending it out. So. Okay, so if you guys want a more full in-depth uh, foundation routine, I will have that linked in the description box below. But right now, I'm basically drawing a line from the corners of my eye to the close to the tip of my eyebrow. Um, and then I'm just drawing like my usual eyeliner. Um, this pencil was a little draggy. Like um, I had to keep um, wiping it on my um, hand just so it can you know liquefy so that way some of the liquid wasn't coming out properly but um other than that like far as like how it applies it definitely mattifies pretty fast and i like that but um i didn't draw the eyeliner all the way to the corners of my eye i stopped halfway eventually i ended up going all the way to the tips of my eye because i ended up messing up <laughs> so i didn't have too much of a choice but to go all the way to the corners but I'm basically filling in my liner, uh, making sure that it's nice and sharp and everything is filled in. And then I went in with my concealer and basically cleaned it up, making it more sharp. So we ain't gotta, you know, nah, we need our wing light to be cutting niggas off, you know? Nah, I'm just, <laughs> we need our wing light to be nice and sharp. But for the tip, you see, I, made, I messed up right here. So I ended up having to go to the corners of my eye anyways. Um which was kind of you know kind of threw me off but i was like oh well it's i still made it work i made sure that, that line was pretty thin so it wasn't too visible um and then for the corners so i basically connected that thin line and just kept that line going basically making sure that line kept going down and you guys see it's pretty long but i'm gonna show you how i made it clean i cleaned it up so the bottom line i made sure that it was going into my water line so I made sure that, that the bottom part was making sure it was going to my waterline so it can appear as if my eye was naturally like that. So when I went in with the concealer, I just made sure that I just cleaned up the edges of my eye. Um, and then making sure that it was nice and sharp because I had a hard time making that line sharp with liner on its own. So thank God for concealer. It definitely helped me clean that up. So you do it based off the shape of your eye and make sure that you follow the um, eyeliner that's already on your eye. 
And then that bottom line should automatically transition into your water line. So that's how I figured it out. Like as long as that top line is connected to the top liner and your bottom line is connected to your water line, oh honey, fill that in and you're good to go. So I kind of like this, but I'm a more dramatic person. So I'm going to add on to this part right here, make it a little bit more thick. Now you see how cute that is? Now the real test is getting the other eye. To look like this eye. So, uh, you seen how I struggled that time? Now, I'm good at really, I'm really good at eyeliner, but when it comes to like more dramatic eyes like this, it was just a little bit more tedious. I didn't, I didn't know like which way to go. I don't want people to be like, that's not how you're supposed to do it. It's like, where's the rule book? Okay, so now that my eyeliner is on, I try to get them, get them as even as possible i love it when the eyes are closed so i'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes on you guys i already know i'm gonna be using my desora cosmetic lashes these are in the style chagona i'm not even sure if i'm pronouncing this right i'm gonna have a hard time pronouncing a lot of words sometimes once i figure out the name and how to pronounce it i'll say it right but for now she's called chagona. <laughs> 